Well, hello and welcome people of the internet. You know it, you love it. This is Brotato. We're finally jumping in. Brotato, one of the best rated uh, bullet heavens, not games, but bullet heavens. I guess it is one of the best rated games on Steam. 97% rating with over 76,000. Not too shabby at all. We've talked about Brotato a number of times on the channel, kind of relating other games to it, where Brotato is a, at least one of the first, as far as I'm aware, uh, wave style bullet heavens, where rather than just having Having 20 or 30 minutes to survive you have to survive a number of short bursty waves so 20 waves about a minute each obviously they're going to increase in time as we move forward but this is kind of my first overall experience now i've seen a lot of brotato i even played a little bit over the past year or so in short bursts nothing too extensive so if you're ready to experience my first experience and experience things together for the first experience uh that's a lot of experience. Let's go ahead and jump in. We are going to be playing with Well-Rounded. Well-Rounded overall doesn't really have anything to focus on. He's got a little bit of XP, uh, HP, got a little speed, got a little bit of harvesting, and overall doesn't really have a focus. As far as what I want to build today, though, let's go ahead. We could go with the knives, but nah, we're going to go with the pistol. Gun action. Let's make a John Wick well-rounded character and get her going. Difficulty zero. Not, uh, yep, yep, it is what it is. So, just in case you're unfamiliar with Brotato, a short, sweet, quick breakdown of what the game is. We're this little Brotato looking guy. We're going to get up to six weapons. And we come into the, these waves, we kill enemies, we collect materials, we get XP, and we level up and we do it all over again. That's really the name of the game here. Uh, as far as what I want to get, uh, not range damage, I'm going to go with harvesting here. So harvesting basically is going to earn us material and XP, and material is basically our money. And XP at the end of every round equal to our harvesting number, so getting four more will get us to 14. So at the end of every round, we'll be getting 14 extra money and experience. Not too bad, especially to start us out. Now, we got another pistol here right off the bat, not too bad. Could go with lens, it would give us one extra range damage, lose us a bit of range, but overall, I think I'm just going to take the glasses for the extra range. Let's go ahead and re-roll this, and we're looking for more ranged weapons. I think that's kind of what I want to build into. I am going to take the coupon here, um, and that's pretty much it, especially getting that early on. You know, decreasing our cost this early on is going to be pretty beneficial for us in the later portions of the game. We're going to have saved a lot of money, and saving money is the name of the game. You know, we want to be a little frugal here, but of course we want to buy the upgrades we need for our character. Uh, let's see. Do we go crit chance? We could go for... Uh, you know what? You know what? Luck is actually pretty good. I'm going to go for luck, so that way we can get some higher rated things. Uh, you know what? I think at this point, I am going to take a shredder just for an additional weapon here. I'm also going to take the gummy berserker. More attack speed, more range. We do lose a little bit of armor, but I'm going to lock her right in. And we'll do one reroll just because three coins and see. And see, that's why we do it. We grab the pistol. Perfect. One thing that I think Rotato does really well is just kind of keeping your attention. One thing I've noticed in other bullet heavens that are a little bit longer, you know, the more, the more, uh, like, not wave survival, but more horde survival version of the bullet heaven is that sometimes it can get, like, uh, a little bogged down. I don't want to say stale, but you can kind of get to a point where you're kind of doing the same thing for, for 20 or 30 minutes without a lot of, like, uh, mental stimulation of monks or amongst just like dodging enemies right i think what brotato does really well is it gets you in and out of the action very quickly Ooh, kind of a tough decision here between range and harvesting i do think i'm gonna go with harvesting just so that way we can get our, our resources really flowing and yeah definitely grabbing the 10 luck here so let's go ahead and grab the gummy berserker we can also lock in the scope that one's gonna be pretty nice to pick up later Killing a tree spawns a turret. Actually, not too bad. I don't think I'm going to lock it in right now because it's going to be sitting there for a while, but I will grab the shredder. And so getting us in and out of the action is, you know, really nice. Uh, you know, I, like it's one of those things that I've, I've talked about in a number of uh, other Bullet Heaven videos, especially, you know, it, it depends on how engaging the game is. One of those things that I always look for in Bullet Heavens that are more Horde survival based is like, are there any objectives on the map? Is there anything for me to do besides just survive, survive, level up, choose my upgrades and then survive again? And as long as you're keeping my attention, I don't have a problem with the horde survival uh, like style of game. 
but this one does a really nice job, you know, and like I said, I don't know for sure that this is the first like wave uh, version of the Bull Heaven. I do know that it's definitely the most acclaimed, definitely the highest rated because it's one of the highest rated games out there in general. Uh, it's pretty hard to get that 97%. You got to be real good. Uh, only 3% of people said they didn't like it out of 76,000. Yeah. Um, let's go for a little bit of lifesteal here and grab the scope. Do a little bit of re-rolling. And what else are we getting here? Ooh, laser gun could be kind of fun. It also has some piercing. That's a lot of damage too. Hold up. Oh, but the cooldown's a little bit slower. I think that's fine though. We get a little bit of piercing. All right, we'll pick up one of those. And then let's see, dodge and harvesting, I think is fine. We lose a little bit of our range damage. We're still in the positive, but we get to positive dodge, get a little bit more harvesting. Yeah, let's pick up the peaceful B, why not? We'll do one more reroll C. Spawns a medical card that shoots bullets healing. Um, Is it gonna automatically hit us? That That's, I guess, the question. I'm gonna go ahead and lock in this pistol though, so that way we can pick it up next round. I'm also gonna pick up the, the gentle alien, I think. It's gonna give us a little bit more enemies, but it's gonna give us more max HP and more damage. Uh, is that worth it? Is that worth it? Um, yeah, more enemies means more experience. So I guess, I guess it's fine. Let's lock her in. And so in doing this like wave fashion, you know, it gets us in and out of the action and it keeps your attention. You know, there, obviously there are going to be some people who really like the build aspect of these games. And there's going to be other people who really like the, well, we'll call it the more gameplay aspect of these games. And so in this one, you kind of have even even amounts of both, right? Like we're, we're already, you know, like a quarter of the way through the, well, I'll say the waves, not the game, right? Because these first waves are, are much shorter. Further waves are going to be 60 seconds, but even so, 60 seconds goes by quick. So you really, you know, it really does a good job of just keeping your attention just locked in. Uh, we could go with armor, but I mean, who are we kidding? We're going luck. And we're also grabbing that range just so we can shoot things for a lot farther. So let's grab the pistol. We can combine weapons. So I haven't done so yet because I want to make sure that I have as many things flying out of my, my hands as possible. Uh, but once we start getting additional weapons, I'm, of course, going to start uh, fusing these up. And let's go ahead and grab another B. Want to be careful not to go down too much as far as the damage goes. Burning. Yeah, we're not going into burning. Uh, let's see. Max HP. No. Okay, we'll do one more reroll here. Ooh, level two laser gun. All right, let's lock that in. We also have another pistol, so let's go ahead and level that up. And jump back in. Let's go. We are fully John Wicked out here. Got weapons all around us. Yeah, I think having a couple laser guns are going to be pretty good for once waves start getting, you know, a lot more condensed, a lot more, like, enemies close to each other. I think that'll be nice to have a little bit of piercing damage. I think there's just a lot of customization in this game, too. I mean, you saw just when, just in picking our first character, there was, I don't know, maybe eight or ten weapons that we could just start with. I mean, that's a lot of just base customization. Plus, I mean, you saw how many characters there were. And, you know, in case you don't know, Brotato has a, as far as I'm aware, a fairly active modding community. Uh, and one that's very actually very easy to do, you know. There's, I know that a lot of people can get a little bit scared about modding. Uh, let's go for crit chance. And so now let's go ahead and combine these. Um, what I'm also going to do here... So let's go ahead and combine. I'm gonna combine the pistols as opposed to these because these have a chance to explode on hit. So I want more of these, I think. And then we'll buy the laser gun. I'm also gonna grab the bag. So this is a little bit cheaper, but once we get a second, once we get a second crate, this thing will pay for itself. And then any other crates we pick up after that are our profit. Ooh, that increases enemy speed. That's a little scary. This gives us more harvesting, and it balances out one of the, the gentle aliens. So I think I actually am going to take the white flag, perhaps. Okay, let's get it going. I think another thing they did really well is that they didn't take themselves too seriously. I mean, you can see what we're wearing. Look at this. We got glasses. We got a dog mouth scope on our head with six guns around us like 
how much less serious can you take yourself? And I think that's a fun thing. You know, one of my more, like, one of my favorite uh, aesthetics as far as gaming goes, right, is that, like, Baldur's Gate 3, like, a little bit dark, but fantasy theme. Like, I, I'm just, it's, the game's got to be real bad for me to turn down with that, with that uh, theme to it, with that aesthetic. But every once in a while, you got to just, like, branch out and play a game like this where it's just, it's just silly for silliness' sake. It doesn't take itself too seriously. It knows what it's trying to be, and it's not trying to be, pretend to be anything else. Uh, at this point, I, I mean, I still, I think I'm still okay. You know what? I'm actually going to take the range damage. Um, there are some things that I'm going to want to take that are going to reduce range damage, and I want to make sure to keep that in the positive. That being said, attack speed is going to be really nice for us. Attack speed, crit chance, range. We lose a little bit of HP regen, but we don't even have any HP regen, so we'll take that. Take the white flag. Let's take the luck and do one reroll here, see if we can find anything. There's a medical gun, but we don't have... Yeah, we don't have medical guns. We don't need that. Another shady potion. Oh. Lock her in. Let's go. Let's get her done. Yeah, like, now we have a white flag popping out of the top of our head. Like, come on now. <laughs> come on now. Now, if I can get some, it would probably be nice to have some some kind of a little bit more recovery, whether that be lifesteal or we increase our max HP. Max HP would obviously be pretty nice once we can get some lifesteal going. So we can keep ourselves nice and healthy, just in case we kind of get stuck in corners, which I'm, I'm hoping is not the case. You know what I'm also going to do here? I'm going to fix... Uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and turn the sound down a bit. I think overall sound is fine. I want to turn the music up just a tad, but these gun sounds are pretty loud. Yeah, there we go. I think that's a little bit more balanced. Now, what I haven't figured out and hopefully some of you guys can tell me, oh man, am I just going more? Oh, there's more at max HP. Okay, I think at this point, I get, ah, 10 harvesting is a lot though, right? Over, so over the course of, what is it, nine, nine waves? Is it going to be nine? No, 10 waves. Because it's nine and 19. That's going to be a hundred extra money, hundred extra. Yeah, I got to go with the hands. Um, so this is obviously our, our currency, but what is, oh, Okay. <laughs> the amount of materials that you haven't picked up during the last wave, the value of the next 59 drop materials will be doubled. Oh, okay, cool, cool, got it. Two melee damage, uh, shredder, which we can grab, level up. We'll grab another shady potion. Let's go for, honestly, we should probably just go for scar, maybe? How good's our range? Oh my god, our range is absurd. Let's get some more XP. Let's reroll. Small range, uh, how good's our damage percent? Uh, it's not very good. We get some range damage and we get attack speed. Uh, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Okay, we're just gonna go to the next wave. Gotta level up my guns, so it's probably better just to just to hold off. Grab some new guns, level them up, get more damage, you know. Get away from me, get away from me. Don't you dare come near me. Hey, 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 hey! Rude. Rude. Oh my god, oh my god, don't you dare. Don't you even dare. Yeah, this range is hugely helpful. Just keeping enemies at bay. Just don't get too close to me. Nice. Okay, so we want speed. Oh, there's life steal though. Yeah, I want to get the life steal. There's another laser gun, so we can get that, level that up. Still need another pistol though. Um, we do have a slingshot. Is that any better? So one of the things that I have to look at that's uh that is new based on based on what I thought I knew about the game is that the game the the weapons now have synergy tags. 
and I guess I, I didn't realize that, that was a thing. So, like, th these are all guns. This is a gun. This is a gun explosive. Maybe this was a thing, and I just didn't know about it. But um, So, for every gun that you have of a certain type, you're going to get some bonus range, which is why our range is so crazy, because we have six guns. So, that's why we don't want to go primitive, right? I'm not going to get some bonuses there. Um, yeah, let's reroll. Nullifies the first damage. Uh, yeah, let's take that. That's just a free, free hit. Not bad. Don't really need the armor. I just want, I need more like damage. Shoot six alien eyes around you every three seconds, dealing six, 16, 50%. Oh, max HP damage. Hmm. Yeah, I suppose we'll take that. That's just more damage. More speed, less luck. Eh, eh. I just, I need to find, I need to find my, my guns. I need to find my guns. Attack speed range. Yeah, we'll grab that. All right, let's go. Now, I guess one thing I don't know, and I'll have to, I'll have to learn, uh, this is just something I thought about that's maybe in the game, and it was, would probably be something it wouldn't tell you, but you could, like, figure out over the course of time, is if there's any reason to, like, fuse your guns and have open spaces, like, for example, are you more likely to get a the gun you want if you have, like, one of higher level, or are you more likely to get them if you have more of lower levels? Like, I'm not sure how that necessarily works. So, like, I could be screwing myself by, like, not combining my blues into a purple or something like that, but I, I just don't know if that's, a like, a hidden mechanic in the game or anything like that. Okay, so our damage is very good. We're killing everything in basically one hit. Uh, attack speed would be very helpful here at this point. Good god, man. These chargers are, are, are not doing me any favors, though. Okay. Oh, hey. It's like the game heard me. Attack speed. Let's go for... Hmm... I don't think we need the crit chance. I think it is just armor. Oh, we're, we're do we take 12% more damage. Nope, get me the heck out of there. Let's see now. So we can take more damage, less range. No, we're we're gonna da I think like we're killing things. Yeah, I don't think I, I necessarily want any of this. Although the explosive turret, honestly, because it's 150% engineering damage, it deals 25 damage, which I mean is fine. Sure, we'll take it. 50% chance to heal, 5% when dodging an attack. Oh, hold up. That's a little bit of healing for us. There's a laser gun, though. I definitely need that. So let's go ahead and combine these. We'll pick this up. This There's potential here. I mean, just for the 5% dodge chance. Is that something I need? Yeah, we're going to lock it in. I think having more dodge chance would also be beneficial since I have that nullify nullify attack where if I have a high enough dodge chance, there's a chance that when I do get hit, it dodges it. And so then I get to keep my, my nullify. I would assume it works like that, unless it unless it stacks in a way so that the the nullify gets applied first, which would be unfortunate. Do we have... We don't even have HP regeneration. Okay, so we'll take the luck. Let's go for... Let's go for some more max HP. Yeah, so let's grab this. Trees die one hit. I don't care about that. Hitting an enemy is 10% of the speed. I don't think I care about that. Because enemies are pretty much dying in one or two hits. Double barrel shotgun. Do I care about this? I mean, I could get rid of this pistol because it's going to take a little while to... I don't, I'm not even going to... Even if I turn this into a blue, I'm not going to be able to turn it into a purple unless I then turn this into a red. Um, does do more damage. It's a little bit less range, but it also has piercing. Yeah, okay. Let's get rid of this. We're going to pick this up for now. 
range damage, attack speed, but we lose a little bit of damage. But what is, so damage percent, your attacks deal 5% more damage, your range attacks deal two additional damage. But where is our flat? Well, it does 2% damage, but then if you're doing, let's see, so if you're doing this 10% is uh, 3, 3.4, half of that is, what, 1.5, 1.7? So, 6% is still... Okay, so it's it's about the same. It's about the same. It's roughly the same. Okay, so small bag is actually good, because then we get the attack speed. Gain 35% more material from recycling items. Oh, I don't necessarily... I don't think I care about that. 20% judge while standing still is interesting. Because that would give us a, a lot of dodge. That is a little scary, though. Not moving around is a little scary when I don't have a whole lot of, like, life steal to bring it back up. So maybe we don't do that. There is, uh, but then we lose some damage here. Nothing else really here. Okay, I'm not going to spend all that money just to reroll one more time. So we're going to go back into the wave. What do we got? We got this weird, like, Mad Maxi slash, like, Baby Boss style character. He's just, like, sucking on a pacifier while going to war and barbarian out. Ooh, nice supply drop. Love it. I think one of the great things about picking up a new game as well is just how many achievements and unlocks you get. It always feels so good when you end a run and the game's like, you earned 20 different things. And you're like, oh my God, it's Christmas. And then you start to get to a point where it's like you play 10 rounds. It's like, dude, you've already unlocked everything. You have one more thing and it's going to take you like 20 years. Like, uh, like one of the ones that I did. Um... Oh, it heals three. So is this going to focus us. I think I'm going to take it regardless. 25% chance to deal 20. Oh, de oh, deals damage on luck to random enemy when an enemy dies. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do that. Melee damage, attack speed. Oh, we like it, the attack speed, so let's go with that. Attack speed, crit chance, range. We lose some H our HP regens in the, in the tank already. Life steal. This gives us life steal. Um, yeah, I think we can go with blood leech. Reroll. Scissors we're not doing. There's a purple shotgun? Is that better than Shredder? I mean... I'm not sh necessarily sure if it's better than Shredder. It's probably better than Pistol. Alright, we're getting off Pistol. Getting off Pistol. Damage armor speed. We lose some crit chance. Yeah, logging that in. We're picking up the metal. Oh, man. What was I... Oh, man. My, my, my brain just lost it. I lost my train of thought when I was talking about. Bummer. Oh, right, right, right. Achievements. Um, <laughs> I had to walk that conversation back in my head. Yeah, so, like, one of the things that uh, when I was playing, so while I'm playing Soulstone Survivors here, um, one of the achievements, so one of the things that you can do for, for progression is you can get these, uh, you basically can slap runes onto characters. And you start with five rune points. All these different runes they can get are different points, and they all give you different passive abilities. Some of them are very expensive, like they cost five rune points. Some are very cheap, they only cost one, but you start with five and can get up to ten. The first four don't take that long to get. One of them, one or two of them are a little bit difficult to get. You know, one or two of them are pretty easy to get. The last one, man, takes so long. I think you have to kill a million. I think it's either a hundred thousand or a million enemies. I know it's a very big number. I'm gonna take the attack speed here over range damage, I think. Our damage is good. I just wanna be attacking things faster. Especially if we're gonna have like lifesteal. I wanna be getting that off. So we're gonna get metal. We're gonna be getting none of those. Uh, there's another shotgun, so let's go ahead and level that up. We don't have a medical gun. We're gonna grab another med turret for more heals. Uh, one more. There's a shredder. Oh, perfect. We need that. And we can also get another. Where's our crit chance at? Yeah, we can max HP, damage, armor, speed. Sure, we'll lock in a metal too. And it takes a long time. I think it took me, man, I want to say like 15 hours to get that achievement done, which to be fair in the grand scheme of things, as far as games go nowadays, is not actually that long. But if you're someone who's like playing a bit more casually, 15 hours is a long time to sink into that. 
Especially because, right, like, when you're starting the game, you don't have, you know, you don't have a lot of your passage, you don't have your meta progression built in, so you're not killing things very fast. And so overall, like, it's going to be a lot slower progression. Once you once you get everything, you know, once you get all your builds going, you're, you're fine to just take off and just explode. But it still takes a long time. I mean, you're doing... So in order to get bosses spawned, you have five boss waves, and to each get bo wave, boss wave to spawn, you're killing somewhere between 400 and 600 enemies. So you're really only killing, like, 2,000 enemies a run. So it's got to be... Maybe it is only 100,000. I feel like it's more than that, though. Claw tree. Nope. Recycle it. Missile. We lose a little bit of attack attack speed, but where are we at there with attack speed? I gotta learn like where everything is here. Uh, attack, attack speed seventy eight. So yeah, we can take we can take that. We can take that. Speed luck. Nah, recycle that crap. Let's recycle it. Get some luck. Um, don't really care about this at all. Yeah. So we want the we want the shredder. We can level that up. We can take the metal. We have a couple, we still have a couple more rounds, so let's go ahead and, especially since things are going to be starting to get more expensive, that 5% is really going to be worth it. 20% chance to instantly attract a material when it's dropped, sure. 8% chance to heal 1 HP when picking up a material, that's also pretty good, so we'll take that. Uh, max HP, but we lose some dodge. Uh, <laughs> no shot. A free reroll in the shop, heck yeah, we'll lock that in. We only have a few waves to go, but a free reroll is a free reroll. Actually, at this point, maybe it's not worth it. The reroll. I'll see what the reroll cost is. I, I probably should check that first before I locked it, but that's okay. Now, for all the, for all you guys who have still who have made it this long into the video, I have a confession to make. I got another confession. Uh, this is not my first time recording this video. Um, the the struggles of of recording is that you know you gotta go until you get a good run. Now, I was trying to make a knife run work for for the longest time, and it was a little bit of a mixed bag. I wasn't like fully set on knives or anything. I was just kind of doing melee damage. Um, man, knives suck. <laughs> I did. Yeah, see, so this is going to save us four. Four, actually, it's going to be kind of free. That being said, moving forward, they're going to get more expensive. Okay, so that's going to be profitable in the end. Um, let's go ahead and grab the, yeah, more luck. Just give me, give me some good stuff. Wheelbarrow for harvesting. Nah, 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 none of that stuff. Another reroll. Laser gun. Boom. Let's go do one more reroll here. Torture. Max XP restore 4% every second. Nope, that's terrifying. That terrifies me. More range damage, more attack speed. Yeah, we'll lock in the small mag. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah, so... This build, a little bit better. Knocking on wood right now, but so far it feels a bit stronger than trying to go with knives. My, my whole thought with like going with the knives was like, you know, we're doing the well-rounded guy. He's pretty basic. We're going to pick the most basic weapon. It's literally the first one on the weapon screen. But you know what? Why bring a knife to a gunfight? You know, why bring a knife to a gunfight? And ultimately, I think we're, we're proving that guns are... are guns are great. Murka. <laughs> Gotta get those guns going. So is this thing targeting me? This this med this med bot here? I'm assuming it is. Okay, maybe I'm not going to just stand in direction. Or do I just have to be near it? Okay, so if I'm near it, it'll shoot me. Got it. not just going to shoot me from across the map. Which I guess is fair. That would probably be a little bit uh, not balanced. Sure, we'll, we'll take the baby gecko. And let's go ahead and take lifesteal as well. Ooh, taser four. Wait, we don't have taser. So those enemies in a... Oh, that's actually pretty good. Hold up. Let's go ahead and... what's What one do we want to combine? Do we want to, laser gun is piercing. This is projectiles explode. I almost feel like I should just get rid of the laser gun. Yeah, laser gun is our most basic thing. Let's get that. Let's get the taser. Har uh, harvesting increases by an additional 8% at the end of the wave. Don't really care about that. We'll get the small mag. We'll get our free reroll in. And yeah, at this point, we're not going to buy any of that. Go to wave 17. Let's go. 
Let's get it done. Blow them up. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, th this game is sweet. There's so many different upgrades you can get, so many different potentials for builds. Like I mentioned before, you know, there's a big modding community, so there's, you know, there's, once you get, like, if, if you even get bored of the, the content in this game, there's, like, a hundred different ways of Sunday to spice up your gameplay. Now we got DLCs coming out. Like, it's just, it's just a good time, man. It's just a sweet, sweet, fun game. It's got a lot going for it. I dig it. I dig it a lot. Oh, give me that. Give, no, give me that chest. Thank you. Cute little monkey. Uh, yeah, sure. We'll take that. Metal. Yep. More range. Nah, give me more attack speed. Give me more luck. Make me lucky. Reroll. Gatling laser. Uh, wait. It only does 17 damage? What? Oh, but it has a crazy fast attack speed. Okay, so let's go ahead and... I don't think we need this anymore, so let's combine... Well, I'm not getting rid of it, so we'll combine that. Oh, no, you're super freaking expensive. Oh, frick, man. Okay, that being said, I'm going to buy this. We're going to we're gonna save this. We're going we're gonna to buy this next round. We're going to hold our money. Because I want to get that Gatling gun. What are we even fighting? What is the lore? Does Brotato have lore? I'd like to understand what the lore is of the the Brotato family name and the the pink and pur the purple blobs that we are fighting. Like what are they? What what are they coming? What did we do? What did we do that was so bad that they are just coming in endless waves? I need to know for science. If somebody knows the Brotato lore, if someone can direct me to the Brotato wiki so I can read up on the thousand year history and the, the Brotato wars, that would be fantastic. Or better yet, if you could just tell me yourself, just like, I mean, even if it's just copy paste, just like put it down below. I think we're like literally just, I don't even care what this is. I don't care what this is either. Simply because I need, yeah, I was going to say, like, I just need the money to buy my Gatling laser. Get rid of this. Boom. We have a laser. Nice. Free reroll. Um, honestly, I'm going to lock this in because then we can fuse this up and get an SMG. Yes. Gatling them down. Do it. So as far as I'm understanding, I don't know if there's like what the boss scene is in this game. Obviously there are elites, right? I'm assuming that the the enemies that are highlighted in red are elites. They probably just have more health, probably do more damage as well. Are there actual bosses like with full health bars or anything like that? Maybe on higher difficulties. That would probably make sense. Difficulty zero is for professionals that don't want to show off on harder difficulty. That's what it's for. <laughs> Okay, chargers, you got you gotta stop. You gotta stop doing that. It's not cool. It's not fun. Injection. More damage. We do like more damage. Projectiles pierce through one additional target. Oh my god, yes. And at this point, I think I'm just gonna take the life seal over the luck. Cause we only have let's see, so we just cleared this, so we can go ahead and combine this, grab the SMG. We're about to go into wave 20, so we're, we're basically done. I just got to make sure that we're as strong as we can be. Um, What do we want now? Spawns a turret that shoots flames. Doing five, Okay, sure, I'll buy a turret. And I think that's going to do it. I think that's going to do it. Oh, come on now. I would have loved to get me some ricochet. That's all right. Let's go to wave 20. Let's get her done. Oh, hey, look, that answers my question. There's a boss. 
Uh, his health is white. Oh my god, wait, he has a ton of health. Oh my Jesus. Okay, you dash. Holy crap. He, wait, he has so much health. Now, I guess the question is, do I lose the run if I don't kill him? Because there's been a number of Bull Heavens that I've played where you don't have to kill the boss. You just have to survive. And obviously, it's better if you kill him because then you don't have to survive as long. Here, I'm hoping that we don't find out the answer to that, though. Oh, my days. Oh, my days. Give me health. Okay, lifesteal coming in clutch. Little med drone, thank you. The little med drone that could. Come on, come on. Oh man, wait, oh, we're actually gonna find out what happens if you get to the end and you don't kill the boss. Oh, run one, okay, so you only have to survive, okay. So you might end up getting, I don't know, you may end up getting extra rewards or something if you kill the boss, I'm not sure. That'll obviously be something we figure out in the end. I'm really surprised that we didn't kill him. I thought we had quite a bit of damage, but I, I guess not. Maybe he's just real chunky. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know what the deal was. He was a, he was a chunky boy. Maybe I just spent way too much time getting <laughs> luck in range. Maybe I should have spent more time getting damage. But anyway, guys, that is our very first Brotato run for me. It's like three or four. <laughs> Because, like I said, i kind of been sitting here doing knife runs and they just weren't working. I was like, screw it. We're doing it live. We're doing guns. <laughs> and guns finally got it done. Guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I hope you're looking forward to more Brotato content. I certainly am. Going to be doing some more. I'm not sure that we're going to do, like, a, a full run just, like, straight through for, like, the rest of time. We may take a break here and there, but I think this will be a fun one to kind of go through, progress, and unlock everything. Try all the characters, try all the different weapons, all that kind of stuff. There's a lot of content here, and I think also, just for me personally, you know, it's good that these are kind of shorter runs, so I don't have to invest, you know, like an hour and a half into doing one of these runs. Once I get more used to it, you know, we can probably cut this down to about half an hour and get some, some good content in, some nice speedy runs, and just have a good time. But guys, maybe if you've got a... Uh, you know a build that you really like in this game let me know what it is down below i'd love to learn like what kind of builds there are maybe what kind of characters i can look forward to playing all that kind of stuff would be super sweet that's that's an interesting shaped uh alien right there okay potato devs i see what you're doing i see what you're doing uh but anyway guys <laughs> <laughs> That's going to do it for me today. If you guys did enjoy the content, would you kindly smash the like button, subscribe to the channel for more roguelike action. But I've been Ganyans. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to see you all next time.